welcome in chemical education series in this video lecture we are going to see some experimental part the experiment is related to the potentiometer this is one of the application of potentiometer the ph of the buffer solution by potentiometer now the title is to determine determination of ph of the buffer solution we know that buffer solution buffer solution which raises the sudden change in the ph when we add acid or base into the solution therefore it is a buffer solution is the uh, that changes the ph slightly when an acid or base is added to it there are two types of buffer solutions acidic buffer and basic buffer the acidic buffer is a solution of weak acid and its conjugate base while the basic buffer is a solution of weak base and its conjugate acid now for a determination of the ph we required the solution like 0.05 molar potassium hydrogen phthalate disodium hydrogen phosphate citric acid these two solutions we are using to prepare the different concentration of the buffer and we have to measure the ph of this buffer by using the potentiometer then clinohydrin powder potentiometer the uh, in the potentiometer we require the potentiometer two electrodes calomel electrode and platinum electrode magnetic stirrer beaker magnetic needle and related apparatus now first the uh, in the uh, procedure the first part is the standardization of the potentiometer because every instrument should be a standardized first and then we can compare with this standard solution then we can uh, use measure the measurements now in standardization of potentiometer it is a, it is a very easy because uh, in the instrument we use some standard cell and that cell when we are moving the this knob to the standard and then we should be observed that 1.0185 hold then the instrument should be a standardized yeah but sir why uh, 1.0185 hold is adjusted in the standardization of polarimeter yes uh, this is pot a potentiometer this is not a polarimeter this is the potentiometer now in the potentiometer this voltage we have to adjust because in the potentiometer we have we are going to use the standard electrochemical cell it is called as a western standard cell and that's western standard cell gives this potential as a standard potential at 20 degree celsius and therefore for a standardization of potentiometer when we connect this on the standardization that is on the western standard cell this voltage should be displayed on the display card then the your potentiometer is uh, standardized and then we can use for measurement of the emf of the solution okay uh now in the second part of the uh, experimental procedure first is we have to determine the e cal now for e cal we have to prepare the solution that is a potassium hydrogen phthalate solution and in that potassium hydrogen phthalate uh, solution this is the buffer solution which shows the exactly ph equal to 4 now the cell can be written as for standard calomel electrode and in between that the solution of potassium hydrogen phthalate with quin hydrogen powder and another side that is a positive that is a platinum electrode the potentiometer is connected in a such a way that the platinum electrode which is dipped into the quin hydrogen powder solution and it is connected to the positive while the calomel electrode this is standard uh, electrode this is uh, connected to the negative and then we have to uh, uh, change our knob from standard to the cell then after changing this knob then these two terminals or cells are operated now in this way first we have to take the beaker in that case we have to add about an, uh, an about 50 ml of potassium hydrogen phthalate solution we uh, then we have to add the twin hydrogen powder and then we have to stir uh, with the help of magnetic stirrer and then these two electrodes are dipped and then we observe the whatever the potential difference that is a electromotive force is observed here that is the observed emf for 0.05 molar potassium hydrogen phthalate solution in this way the uh, this setup is uh, required for the determination of e cal once you observe this uh, potential difference for the uh, uh, 
KHP solution, then from that we can calculate the K, uh, E cal for the solution. What is the role of pure hydrogen powder here? Yes, this is the most important question because what happened? Platinum electrode we have to dip into the solution, but here the platinum electrode uh, this is a connected to the positive. But when plat platinum electrode is dipped into the twin hydron saturated twin hydron powder solution, then this platinum electrode is converted into the twin hydron electrode, and therefore this is used. Okay, and uh, third uh, part of the procedure, we have to prepare the buffer solutions. Now, in this case, we are using the two solutions. First is a disodium hydrogen phosphate and citric acid. Now, by combination of these two, we have to prepare the some buffer solutions, and then uh, we have to uh, use this buffer solution to determine the measurement of the E absorbance. And from that, we can calculate the pH of this solution. This is the application of potentiometer. Now, in this case, first we have to prepare the standard solution of the disodium hydrogen phosphate. That is, uh, 250 ml of solution is a 0.2 molar solution. For this. We have to weigh 7.1 gram of uh, disodium hydrogen phosphate with molecular weight 142 and dilute, uh, prepare the solution in a small quantity and then dilute to 250 ml uh, using the volumetric flask. Similarly, we have to prepare the citric acid, 0.1 molar citric acid. For this purpose, we have to weigh exactly the 5.254 gram of citric acid and then we have to dissolve into the minimum amount of uh, quantity of the water and then transfer into the 250 ml or dilute to 250 ml solution. Now, these are the two stock solutions. And from that stock solution, A solution is related to the potassium hydrogen phthalate, B buffer is related to the combination of this, the uh, disodium hydrogen phosphate, we have to take 17.8 ml of the 0.2 molar solution. We have to add 32.2 uh, uh, ml of the citric acid. This solution we have to mix together. This is the buffer B. Buffer C, we have to use 25.8 mol, uh, ml of 0.2 molar so disodium hydrogen phosphate plus 24.2 ml of the uh, 0.1 molar citric acid. In the same way, we have to prepare the D and E and unknown is given by the teacher to you. This is a mixture of the disodium hydrogen phosphate and citric acid is prepared. Now, in this way, these are the stock solutions. And then directly, we have to measure the pH by using measurement of the uh, E absorbed, E, uh, e observed for the, uh, by using the potentiometer. Now, in this way, uh, the same uh, uh, apparatus is used. That is, a, in the picker, we have to use the 50 ml of the buffer solution, say for a B buffer solution. Then we have to add the twin hydron powder just uh, 0.5 gram, and then we have to stir constantly to saturate the twin hydron powder, and then just we have to dip these two electrodes into the solution. And then whatever the um, EMF is observed, that EMF we have to uh, write into the our observation table. Now, this EMF is for buffer B. Then after the uh, measurement of buffer B, then we remove these uh, uh, two electrodes, wash it thoroughly with the distilled water and the beaker again uh, after washing we have to take the 50 ml of the C buffer then twin hydron powder we have to stir this on the magnetic stirrer then just dip these two electrodes we have to measure the uh, EMF on the instrument then uh, for the D buffer and for the same as an unknown uh, solution now in this way in the observation table we can uh, write here uh, just like a, a buffer that is 0 0.201 volt uh, EMF. Similarly, for B, C, D, and E buffer and unknown buffer also. After that, when, once you know that the EMF observed for the potassium hydrogen phthalate, then we have to calculate the E cal. Now, for uh, determination of the uh, pH, the so, uh, equation is pH equal to E standard quinone uh, hydron electrode minus E cal minus E observed divided by 2.303 RT upon F. Now here, the uh, in the denominator, R is constant, F is constant, T is the temperature in Kelvin. Now after substituting these values, we know the value of E standard for the twin hydron electrode. This is equal to zero, uh, this is equal to 0 0.699 volt. So by substituting all these values, just we, we are knowing that 
pH for the potassium hydrogen phthalate is 4, and therefore we can uh, substitute here E observed for the potassium hydrogen phthalate, temperature, room temperature uh, converted into Kelvin, and then we can calculate the E cal. Once you calculate the E cal, then this E cal uh, value is used to determination of the pH of the other buffers. By using the same equation, we know the value of the uh, E not Q, that is 0 0.6999 minus E cal, whatever we calculated first for the potassium hydrogen phthalate, E observed measurement of for each buffer divided by uh, the, this uh, constant value into the room temperature in Kelvin. After substituting these values, we can calculate easily the pH of the buffer solution. That is, we have to substitute the values of P, uh, temperature, E cal, and E observed for uh, respective buffer solution. We can calculate the pH of the buffer solution. And then we can write here the for buffer B, what is the pH observed for C, for D, for E, and for unknown. This is the application of potentiometer. Okay. Is it clear now? Okay, thank you.